down the street, don't say a hell of flow. Call it with my baby mama, eight a dollar profit from the coffee I pour. When the sun is calling every day, nobody on me knocking on the door. Nah, skirt, 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 skirt. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your favorite adult virgin here with another vinyl update. I know I've been very distracted lately. This video should have came out like, I don't know, maybe a week and a half ago or something, but hey, we're doing it now. So why don't we quit the stall in and get into it because I don't know what rhymes with stalling unless we're falling. Anyway, let's start off with our first album. Uh, we got Rex Orange County with his debut album, uh, Because You Will Never Be Free. <clears throat> Sorry, I've, I've caught in the frog in my throat. But, yeah, based on the detailing of this uh, album, I actually quite enjoy it. But, of course, like most places I go to, uh, I'm usually getting, like, these parts where they're all like very stretched out since they are in their plastic wrap for a long period of time. I'm loving the same sense of structure, but kind of like an optical illusion thing. Of course, he credits himself since he basically did everything on this album, but along with working on very creative. Uh, format here basically showing off the major layers of the same photo now uh, I don't know I was going to set down for some reason I don't know right I know this is a little bit stuffy but I could tell this still has the new vinyl smell I love how he adds the little kitty Kind of dog is late. Anyway, why don't we just uh, hop on into this little bad boy? How I. Okay, uh, I'll admit, this was a quite decent debut album for Wreck Orange County. Now, I will have to say, this is probably his most underrated album that he's done, because I'm pretty sure everyone else has listened to his other stuff than actually the real debut, to be fair. But, if I'm being honest, I could have gotten... Apricot Princess, but that was out of stock, so I got the second best thing that was in front of me. So, uh, I'll admit the sound production, it's very strong, it's very calming, lyrics and stuff like that. We also have, um, it basically talks about your typical elements that you already hear from R&B as well as indie pop But if we're being really honest here a couple of the songs do tend to have like It feels like a lot of the songs are scraped like cut out a bit just so He could just get straightforward to releasing this album and I'm pretty sure not a lot of his albums are long but if we were to say that this was the most underrated because this is the shortest he's ever released, probably. But I would probably say this is... It just sounds strange a little bit at times because of the straight parts. But it sounds like a post humanist album for a guy that's still alive. He's just hiding out in his parents' basement so no one knows that he's still here. Now... I think I'm going to go ahead and give this album 7.1 Charlie Brown and Snoopy stickers out of 10. Now we could go ahead and move on to our next album. 
this one, I'm sorry, I'm trying to check what time it is. All right, this one is a uh, Traveler by Chris Stapleton. I'm not much of a country fan, but for some reason, this guy actually knows what he's talking about. That if you want actual real country, you need to listen to this dude. I'm not talking about heartbreak, puny Taylor Swift in her teen days, but I'm also not talking about the racist Morgan Whalen. But this dude, he actually has good storytelling. He actually got a lot of popular songs on this album as well. So yeah, this is uh, 2LP. Basically the design and exterior is all showing off how well you could really take an album. I mean, I have this other album in my, I don't know if I could call it a shelf, but I'd say it has record sleeves. Uh, yeah. This is basically your typical standard vinyl showing off that probably like old school makes you feel old school because of the way that not everyone is doing vinyls like this nowadays anymore oh oh my god i've been feeling like shit all right uh sorry there's crap on it anyway why don't we go ahead and move on and put this bad boy in You're a sweet strawberry wine. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. And honey, I stay strong. Okay, uh, so. Traveler, Chris Stapleton. It, it's definitely one of the good country albums that you'll actually find nowadays. Mostly since all the regular country stuff we hear on the radio is generic and it's mixing it up with pop mostly. But yeah, I'm gonna say that this album is actually quite good. It doesn't really seem to be as much memorable as his latest album is, but I feel like it's not really like the first half of the album. It has the most memorable tracks. Well, the other side, sides C and D, they tend to be, they don't really tend to be much memorable at times. I only remember, I only remember at least but one track on here and I guess you could really say that this is a definitely good debut for Stapleton as well probably his basically this and starting over are like the most popular albums that we all know but if I were to sum this whole album up I would give it seven point three Jack Nicholson's out of ten. And now we could finally move on to what you we've all been waiting for. You're probably wondering when I was gonna introduce this bad boy to you. One one oh three point five dot FM yeah, we got the Don FM, the most expensive album I got here. These ones were basically typical since they've been out for years, but this one I actually got like a day after it went into market. Now, I will say, not as creative as what his last album cover was, but to what I read in a comment, this dude looks like he's been stuck in a cave for 20 years but to be fair this is an actual sum up an actual sequel to a start of a new trilogy by 
the weekend himself, along with special guest stars on the album, like Lil Wayne, Jim Carrey, Tyler the Creator. Now why don't we go ahead and try to pop in this delicious little bad boy. have a much more uh, 80s sense with his new style of synth pop that he's officially tried out. He's also got a couple of good features. I will say that I do feel like that the album isn't as compelling as what he was doing after hours. I mean, I used to have a track list here somewhere, but now it just seems to be gone since I threw that away with the plastic. Anyway, if I were to say that this album is a very compelling sequel, I would say probably spent more time on working with the songs than trying to come up with skits. I mean, I usually don't like skits nowadays, but this right, but the skits on here, they actually make it more fun and more of like a emotional sense leading to Jim Carrey being on this album a couple of times. But if I were to sum everything all up with this album, I give it 7.8 old Kanye's out of 10. So yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this week's final update. If you wanna, if you wanna like, see future videos all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button like it's your alcoholic stepdad and you finally had enough of him uh hit that like button like it's that dead fetus that you want out of your girlfriend's body her choice of course and of course whatever you guys want me to review next on this channel all you gotta do is go into the comments tell me what is in your interest i can't just be choosing all these albums by myself we all need to know what you guys are up for. I will see you all next time.